pretty cool. Nice. Um, and when would you recommend for somebody to bring in a board to you as opposed to just doing kind of a, you know, small repair on it themselves? Well, I mean, that's like, there's no real concrete answer on that. You know, if you've got um, like anything structural around the, the bot, like first and foremost, if you see anything that's like an open wound where there's open foam, then you're probably better off bringing it to somebody like, you know, a repair person. Um, because you're going to involve like there's more material that's involved there's more of a chance of you melting the foam through using too much product um, you know there's more chance of you bringing water into your board and ruining your board you know ob there's obvious things like um, you know if you see that your fin boxes or your mass tracks are cracking or you see like a, like you sometimes people you can see like a little paint line you know, and it's like that paint line, you can see that it kind of looked like it's cracking. Definitely make sure you bring it in um, to somebody okay. who has an idea there or else you might just lose your foil. Or it could just crack at you when you're moving at high speeds and, and then you get hurt. You know, so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, uh, like you can get by using tape and, uh, you know, stuff and dingo in and, you know, and whatever else there. But there's like... Um, and by all means, I, you know, I use tape when I'm out in there. I certainly don't get out of the water, um, you know, or stop my session because, you know, there's something that I'm not, you know, that I don't, I'm not going to get out of the water for that. I'll do quick fixes. But, you know, like when you invest a bit of money into a board, like you might want to keep it up as well, too, and keep the value up on it. And, and so, you know, taking it to somebody who, um, you know, does it as an actual business might not be a bad idea you know it keeps the keeps the repair value high you know keeps it high um yeah absolutely nice you know, really. awesome. yeah. so i think as a short resume we can kind of tell people basically if you have any sort of you know cracking in the in the fiberglass or in the carbon or whatever around the foil box um definitely bring it into a shop to take a look at it or to our parent person to take a look at it yeah, and if you have any sort of well. sorry i forgot to mention that because there's lots of leaks around handles okay. yeah that's true and then if you have um any sort of impact that you can see foam through then definitely bring it into the shop uh or into a repair person and for other stuff you know it can be more or less important uh, to get it done right away, but it's really important to keep the water out of the board, uh, as Marty was talking about before. I got another and, one to add to that one there. Back in the old surf days, there used to be a thing where when you would have delaminations, where there was like the inject the resin in and just have <laughs> like the weight, you know, to Ooh. hold it down or whatever. And that Yeah, it's a great one. You know, back in the day, it worked with, uh, with you know, with polyester foam and polyester resin. But if you do that nowadays, what you'll do is you'll you'll get an exothermic reaction where the epoxy starts getting, there's like there's heat created through the reaction. It's it's uh, stoichiometric and there's heat created. And if it doesn't have a chance to escape, as in there's like a big globule of it, it'll get so hot, it'll melt the core of your board. Don't do that. So don't do that. No injection. Yeah. The, yeah. the one parentheses on the injection is Gorilla Glue. And I don't know if you use Gorilla this Glue's at great. all, Marty, or not. But um, Gorilla Glue is basically a foaming uh, polyurethane glue. And you can inject it into anything, basically. Um, and it activates with moisture. So it actually soaks up any moisture that's in that area. And it just turns into a high-density foam. So there's no exotherm problem that like Marty is talking about. And it That's can be a, a big help in that kind of situation. On that one there, because Gorilla Glue will exotherm if there's enough of it. Uh, oh, and okay. one of the challenges you get with Gorilla Glue uh, is that you can actually like change the shape of your board. Yes, that's you put true. Too much in, right? Because it's, you know, it's expanding. And I like I've done that on my own stuff. Never in anybody else's there, but I've done that. And I, and I have created uh, too much heat, um, like doing it when it was hot outside, uh, like okay. five degrees, and then use a lot of Gorilla Foam, uh, doing a foil box, actually, and then it just melted. Like, it melted the foam, so. Good to know. Not as significant as with epoxy, but yeah. Okay, no, that's a good point. And Thomas, 
Pramato just mentioned that also that um, that repair guys have materials on hand. So most people don't have a lot of materials on hand and maybe you go in to buy the stuff, buying fiberglass, buying your epoxy, buying this, buying that, the repair may actually come out to closer or even cheaper, or then at least you're gonna get a good quality repair as well, right? Yeah.